Hello and welcome to my shop. This is Jim Dedman, Sawlogs Plastic Hubs. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, we'll be doing something interesting. So uh, hang around. Let's have fun. Uh, this ain't too bad a threaded. This threaded rod is pretty good. Uh, it machined really good, so I'm trying to look see what I want to use here to do that. Uh, let me get back with you. Hold on a second. Uh, today's little simple project is simple. We're going to make a little plug to go in the end of this. When I bought it from Banggood, it, it, it was just like this. Now I borrowed one the other day when I used it. But it, I guess they didn't put a plug in it for a reason like this is more used for mill drills than back tail stocks and lathes. So I'm going to do a little work on this and or come up with what I need and we'll maybe take some video here and there. This is the screw that's out of my live center and it's an M12 by 175 screw. So I'm determined that's what it is. And I've got me an M5 tap. Now I got to go find the material. So we'll get that together. Okay, I'm restarting it. Uh, this threaded rod actually machined really well. Uh, pretty soft. So it was some of that I got from Stanley when if you remember back in a while back I got some uh, made some mini pallet clamps out of some stuff. And that's kind of where that come from, so that's kind of the deal there with that. So I'll uh, going to go ahead and try to find me another tool. I know what I'm looking for, and I'm gonna get it. And, uh, and so I can, when I turn this down, I can put a relief in one type one shot. Okay, I know she knows. I, so I got about seven more thousands. Oh, excuse me, about fifteen thousands to go. So, we're going to take about 7,000. So, so, I mean, if I get it, if it's a barrel so small, it'll be perfectly all right. So, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to mic this, check this off and just mic it right here and make sure I'm right. Normally, I like to mic the other way, but I've got the tool in the way here. And, and uh, Okay, that's what I want, about a thousand smaller so the dials will work good. And or two. I'm a little, I missed it by just a little bit, but that's fine, it's just going to be threaded, so. I'm going, I'd rather be Four, five, uh, three to five thousand undersized for the die anyway. Go ahead. That's why I picked this tool so I can go ahead and just put the thread release in like this. Trying to be done with it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and actually take this and plunge in a little bit and make this rounded kind of spot with it too. And just use the insert to kind of guide it to make something close and cut the top off flat. I'll bring you back after I get some of this plunging in. I don't know how much you can see here but I've cut somewhat of an angle. Again it's not close. I'm more or less looking for clearance here. And so when I go in to do this and cut it off, I'm going to have a flat. And then that's how I'm going to place the flat right there in it. And I'm going to, I'm leaving material that I'm going to cut a chamfer here on the end for the threads and go get the die and set it up. So. A good place, sir, for a die for that. Then I'm gonna run right up here while I've got this tool in there. Break this corner right here. Try to go right behind here. And go down some high for the corner. 
Now, I'll go get the die and set it up. We'll run a die through it. Okay, I'm back. I've got the setup, and I'm just using my latest stuff to call an inching feature. And I'm just bumping it right up there. And then all I've got to do now is just pull everything back off, and I can just screw it off backwards like this. And uh, just screw right back off. What we'll probably do here is we'll turn this die around and run it up the other side more than likely to get the threads to work. So it's probably what we'll do. So let's see, it's just a matter of doing that. We just bumped it up there to get the threads on it. They look pretty good. They look a little bit rough. This material's not the greatest in the world. So we'll just turn the die around, start it back, and run it up the other direction. And line everything back up. And just run this die up like that. I'll finish this up here in a second. Okay. Let me make sure you're kind of in frame there. Okay, there we go. Um, let me turn you around while I can kind of watch what I'm doing, make sure. I keep everything in frame. I'm bad for that. Uh, this is the replacement screw here. Uh, just, you know, like I say, it's a little quick idle. I've already checked it off camera, by the way. And I'm not going to put a slot in it because all this is for is just to, it's just to drive the, you know, let the, uh, you know, let the slot, let the lathe take it out so we're going to you know I'm not going to put a slot in it and I'm not going to tighten it up with the screwdriver and all like the original but like it's in the other one instead take a little red Loctite here and I'm just going to finger tighten it right up just like that and we'll let that set up the next time I need it so now I'll be able to knock it out so there we go. Simple project done. I hope you enjoyed the video. So uh, let's put a disclaimer out of the way. This video is my idea how to do things. It's not uh, uh, the only way. So I hope you enjoyed it today. The other thing, comments are always welcome. Please take the time if you feel so inclined to make a comment on my videos. Also, I appreciate all my subscribers, the new ones and the new ones. And finally, the other disclaimer. This is a copyrighted production of James Dedman, Saw Logs Plastic Hubs, for your enjoyment on YouTube. Thank you. Have a great day, and we will see you in the next video.